C language. And uh, in the yesterday's class, we are discussing about the what, what is the purpose of using the printf function, what is the purpose of using the scanf function, and uh, which type of things we are going to be called it as a conversion specification. And uh, mod D means what is the thing we are going to be called uh, integer specification. Mod F means we are going to be called it as what uh, floating point specification. Mod C means we are going to call it as what uh, character specification. And uh, uh, in the last class we have seen something about the what uh, printf find a uh, scanf functions. Printf is used for displaying the output and scanf is for receiving the what uh, input from the what uh, user using the console. And uh, today's class. What is the concept we are going to be discussed here means what are the other functionalities we are having? Uh, which type of functionality? What is the purpose of using get x, uh, get s function? What is the purpose of using put s function? What is the purpose of using get c function? What is the purpose of using uh, put c function? What is the purpose of using get cat, put cat? And uh, how we are going to display the some error message? Those are the things we are going to be discussed in the today's class and uh, first of all what is the concept we are going to be discussed here uh, first of all what is the concept we are going to be discussed here is we are going to discuss about the concept called uh, get s and put s and uh, s for s for what what is the thing we need to remember s for what string how we are how we are going to receive the input string how we are going to display the display the string as what uh, output and uh, here get s and put it put s functions are uh, declared inside the which file header file suppose if we want to use these functions means what is the header file we are going to be included in our program is we need to include a header file called stdio.h stdio.h and uh, both of these functions are used involved in which operations uh, both functions are involved in the input and output operations of what strings input and output operations of what strings and uh, to take the input as a string input of a string means what is the functionality we are going to be used get us to display any string means what is the output functionality we are going to be used put this and uh, here what is the uh, what are the what are the what are the futures are there by using the get s here get x function what enables the user to enter what some characters followed by the what enter keyword and uh, here suppose if i want to type any characters uh, suppose here i here i uh, i want uh, uh, the user is typing some character as what ram the user is typing some character as what ram and uh, when it is going to be up to where it is going to be taken here means until you have been pressed the enter button until you have been pressed the what enter button up to there it is going to take it as what input get s function enables the user uh, enables the user to enables the user uh, user to enter some characters followed by the what enter key uh, enables the user to followed by the what enter and uh, here what is the um, uh, and uh, all the characters entered by the user get stored inside the which array inside the inside the which array it is going to be stored here means whatever the suppose the if the user is entering ram that ram is going to be stored inside where here means that ram is going to be stored inside a character array uh, where it is going to be stored here means it is going to be stored inside the what eh? character array and uh, here what is the what is the suppose if you are not assigning any uh, if you are not uh, storing any uh, value if you are not entering any value means what is the what is the uh, that string is going to contain a which character here means null character all of you know how we are uh, which type of thing we are going to be called it as a null character means we are going to call it as what eh? slash zero we are going to be called it as what eh? null character and uh, that null character is going to be added to the array to make the what eh? make it a what eh? string suppose if you entered something as ram if you entered something as ram means the end character is what here means the end character is what eh? null character the end character is what eh? 
null character and inside this how many characters we are having here means uh, one two and a three and it is going to store something fourth character as what end character as what null character and what is the size of this uh, mm -hmm. array here means the size of the array is what four the size of the array is what four and uh, including what null character and uh, and gets allows the user to enter the what space separated suppose uh, if i entered uh, something as ram and uh, after that here i have given space and uh, here i have entered something as what triply here i have entered something as what triply then what is the what is the thing is also being considered here means uh, inside the string what is the thing is also being considered here means space is also being considered Space is also been considered here. Total, how many characters we are having here? Means one, two, three, and uh, four as what? Space five, six, seven. Total, how many characters we are having here? Means seven characters we are having. And uh, gets allows the user to enter the what? The space separated strings. It is allowing the which type of strings? Not only the individual string. It is uh, allowing the which type of strings? It is going to be. allowed here means space separated strings are been also been accepted here get as function is allowing the user to enter the which type of strings here means the user to enter what space separated strings and uh, it returns the string entered by the what user uh, by using the get as function what is the whatever the input we have received from the user that out that string we are going to be displayed by using the what get as that's why we are mentioning something as what it returns the string entered by the what it returns the string entered by the what user it returns the string entered by the what user we are mentioned and now we are going to see what is the what is the uh, format uh, get get as function is having and what is the syntax the get as function is having and what is the syntax Uh, put this uh, function is having and uh, what is the uh, practically we are going to see how we are going to retrieve the how we are going to retrieve uh, string by using the get as and how we are going to display by using the what put as and uh, here what is the which type of parameter whenever which type of parameter it is having here means it is having a parameter as what a character array type and which type of value it is returning here means character array it is returning what is the value it is going to be returned here means character array all of you know what is meant which type of thing we are going to be called it as a character array here character array means what uh, uh, suppose here uh, here i am declaring something as what uh, name and uh, name of what uh, here i am declaring something as what uh, 10 and uh, inside this i am storing some value as what uh, here i am storing the value as what uh, xy x y z x y z space a b c here i am storing some value as what x y z a b c and uh, this type of thing we are going to be called it as what this type of va uh, value we are going to be called it as what character array uh, this type of thing we are going to be called it as a string and inside the c language we are not going to have which type of data type here means string data type and uh, here which type of thing we are going to be used here means instead of string we are you uh, uh, the uh, instead of string we are going to use one array as what a character array this type of declaration we are going to be called it as character array declaration we are going to be called it as what a character array declaration we are going to be called it as what a character array declaration and uh, what is the value is going to be returned by using this function here means what is the value is going to be returned the get get as function is going to return what character array and what is the thing it is going to be taken it as input here means parameter input parameter here means character array now we are going to see it practically how, how we are going to what is the uh, how we are going to Uh, use the get as function and how we are going to use the put as function here how we are going to use uh, get as function and uh, put as functions uh, uh, we are going to be discussed and uh, here uh, 
here what is the what is the functionality we are going to be uh, seen here means what how we are going to use the getters and putters and uh, here what is the inside this program what is the to support the getters functionality what is the header file we are including to support the getters functionality means what is the header file we are including we are including the header file called hash include std io.h and uh, instead of scanf function instead of scan a function what is the function we are taking it as a in uh, what is the function we are considering it as the input function here means for taking the input as a string format means what is the to take the input as a string format means what is the functionality get as uh, scan f is going to support the different types of uh, it is going to take different types of inputs uh, here in the last class we are discussing about the scan f here the scanf functionality is taking what here the scanf functionality is taking the input as what floating point character type and uh, here the scanf function is taking the input as what string format here the scanf function is taking the input as what integer format but uh, here the getS function is going to take only uh, take the uh, only accept which type of input means string formatted input this type of input input it is going to be accepted here means only the accept it is going to accept only the which type string format and uh, here what is the uh, here we are asking the user to enter what we are asking the user to enter the string enter the string whatever the string the user has entered that string we are displaying here that string we are displaying by using the what printf functionality and uh, if i Uh, execute this program. If I compile and execute this program, means what is the output we are going to get here? What is the output we are going to see here? Means uh, it is going to ask us to enter a string, and uh, whatever the string we have entered, that uh, string is going to be displayed on the screen by using the which function, print a function, and uh, how it is going to take the input means by using the which functionality it is going to take the input. by using the functionality called what get s and uh, okay uh, here it is somewhat slow uh, um uh, what is the input it is going to be uh, okay it is asking something as what what is the thing it is asking enter the string and uh, here we are mentioning something as what uh, here i am mentioning something triple space students and uh, space and uh, something as a ski and uh, here i am uh, here i am giving how many how many words i am giving here means three words those three words are, has been separated by the what spaces and the get as function is going to accept what spaces are also been considered by using the what get as function and uh, when it is going to be entered here means if you press the enter button here means enter button on the keyboard means uh, it is going to uh, consider it as what uh, one string here what is the what is the after pressing the enter uh, by using the printf statement we are displaying the output by using the printf statement we are displaying the output and uh, here you entered and uh, percentage s s means what is the thing it has been displayed triple students uh, ski it is displaying triple students uh, and uh, this is the uh, for taking the input of a string only uh, only i want to take the input as a string here means what is the what is the functionality also being used we are going to use one functionality called what get s what is the functionality we are going to be used we are going to use one functionality called what get s functionality we are going to be used and uh, now we are going to see uh, what are the what are the disadvantages we are having get as function is what a risky to use since it does not perform a, any array bound checking any array bound checking keep reading the characters until the new line is encountered until the new line is what a, encountered it suffers from what buffer overflow uh, which can be avoided by using the which functionality here means where which can be avoided by using the what f gets uh, which can be avoided by using the what f gets and uh, now we are going to see what is meant by the buffer overflow and uh, what is meant by the array size uh, 
uh, which type of thing we are going to be called it as a bond checking these are the things we are going to be seeing and uh, here what is the uh, here we are having something as what f gets a functionality and uh, here uh, what is the size here what is the size we have been entered 30 here i am entering the size as what uh, here the character size i am entering it as what 5 here i am entering the character size as what inside the get as uh, here string uh, string size is what here uh, what is the size i am mentioning 5 and uh, here uh, here if i am compiling and executing and uh, uh, enter it is going to ask the enter enter the string but uh, here i am giving how many characters as the input here means one here i am giving one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and uh, here i am giving the input as what eh? more than 10 characters more than five characters i am giving the input and pressing the enter button and uh, here what is the actual size of the character array we are having actual size of the character array is what eh? uh, five but is it but it is accepting how many characters here means 10 characters it is accepting 10 characters it is accepting and it is displaying and uh, here what is the uh, it is out of bound uh, what is the values are out of bound here means 6 7 8 9 0 and uh, here what is the size of the string we want to be considered only the five elements uh, size string i want to be considered suppose uh, uh, if i am asking the user to enter the mobile number the mobile number should be of how many characters 10 characters and uh, if the user is typing more than 10 ways what is the thing it should not accept it has to be not to be accepted but uh, here what is the what is the disadvantage is there by using the get as functionality means it is accepting more than what eh? more than the size of the characters it is accepting the more than the size of what eh? characters but uh, to avoid this means to avoid this uh, thing means what is the functionality we are going to be used here means instead of get s what is the functionality we are going to be used here means f get s what is the thing we are going to be used f get s and uh, here what are the parameters we are passing here we are passing something as a string and uh, here second parameter we are passing how many characters we want to be accepted uh, how many characters we want to be accepted here the character uh, character string size is what uh, 20 so we are mentioning it as what 20 and uh, which type of thing we want to give it as a uh, we want to take it as a input so third parameter we are passing it as what standard input we are passing it as what std i n we are passing it as what std i n and uh, if i am executing this program if i am executing this program uh, whether it is going to accept uh, how many characters it is going to be accepted and uh, here i am mentioning something as 20 characters and uh, here i am in, uh, writing as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 okay uh, 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and uh, here 21 22 23 24 here i am mentioning 24 characters and pressing the enter button but how many characters it has been accepted only the 20 characters it has been accepted uh, uh, 19 19th character and after the 19th character what is the character every string is going to be added with the which character null character so here it is showing only the how many characters it is displaying here means 19 characters it is displaying it is displaying something as what 19 characters here what is the problem has been avoided more than 20 character string it is not accepting it is not accepting more more than what uh, 20 characters why it is not accepting more than 20 here means we have uh, we have passed the second parameters uh, value as what we have passed the second parameter as what 20 that's why it is accepting only the 20 characters if we pass 30 means it is going to accept how many characters 30 if we pass uh, 5 means it is going to accept how many characters it is going to accept uh, 5 characters and uh, this is all about what f get s functionality here f get s functionality and uh, now what is the other functionality we are going to have 
and uh, what is the purpose of using footage uh, it is very much similar to the what eh? which functionality printf function and uh, footage function is used for what used for what eh? used to print the what eh? string on the console used to print on this uh, print the string on the what eh? console what is the difference between the footage and put printf means printf is going to display the integer type values string type values it can be used for displaying any type of values but footage functionality is used only for displaying the what eh? string only for displaying the which type of values here means string type value and uh, here what is the uh, uh, practically we are going to see how we are going to, uh, this is the format of declaring the what eh? this is the syntax of uh syntax of what this is the syntax of footage functionality uh and uh, here what is it uh, how we are going to display the uh, take the input as the what take the input as input by using the get s and uh, how we are going to display by using the what footage how we are going to display the uh, uh, display the string by using the what footage functionality here here while taking the input we are mentioning it as what while taking the input we are mentioning it as what get s of what name get s of what name name is of which type uh, character array type and uh, while displaying to display the string means what is the functionality we are using put s put s of what name we are displaying the name by using the what put s functionality here and uh, here if i am executing this program if i am compiling and executing this program means uh, what is the output it is going to be displayed uh, it is uh, if i am giving something as a ram and uh, here your name is what eh? your name is your name is actually this your name is displayed by using the what eh? displayed by using the what eh? print function and uh, by using the put test what is the thing has been displayed ram has been displayed whatever the input we have given that input has been displayed by using the what put s of what name means it is displaying something as what ram and uh, this is all about the what uh, to take the string as a input only to consider only the string as a input and uh, to display the string as output means instead of printf and scanf the people are going to use something functionality is called what get s and a put s and uh, what is the disadvantage is there by using the get s means it is going to accept more than the character array size characters but uh, to only the mentioned size means what is the functionality we need to be used and uh, f get s functionality we need to be used f get s functionality we need to be used and uh, now we are going to see what is the purpose of using the put char and get char just now to take the string as the input means we are using put s and to take this uh, to uh, put s and get s uh, to take the string as input and uh, display it as output means we are using something as what uh, get s for input and put s for what uh, output uh, of the what string here what is the thing i want to be uh, i want to take only the one single character as input i want to display the single character as output single character as output means what is the put char functionality we are going to be used and uh, to take the input means what is the functionality we are going to be used here means get char functionality we are going to be used get char functionality we are going to be used it is almost similar to the what eh? get s and put s and uh, practically we are going to see what is the how we are going to use the put char and uh, get char functionalities here and uh, here i am asking the user to enter the what enter a character here i am asking the user to enter the what print f of enter a character means it is going to ask the user to enter the what character and uh, here i am instead of scan f functionality instead of writing this statement instead of writing what is the statement scan f and uh, instead of mentioning this statement percentage c comma here and person c and instead of writing this statement what is the statement i am using here means here i am using a functionality called what a get char instead of writing scan f of percentage c and person c 
instead of taking the input as a character by using the scanf functionality here i am directly writing something as what c is equal to what is the what is the statement functionality i am invoking get care of what get care then whatever the uh, whatever the user given character is there the character is going to be suppose user has entered something as what user has entered something at the a that a is going to be stored inside the what uh, that a is going to be this a is going to be stored inside the what uh, c the, that a whatever the whatever the character typed by the user that uh, that value is going to be stored inside the what uh, that value is going to be stored inside the what uh, c and uh, here after that i am uh, after that i am displaying the after after that i am displaying the displaying the string character by using the what is the functionality here means after that i am displaying the character by using the which functionality here means put care put care of what c then what is the thing it is going to be displayed it is going to whatever the user entered value is there that value it is going to be displayed here and uh, it is almost works uh, similar to the what get s and put s but uh, there it is going to take the input as string and display the output as what a string here it is going to take the input as what a character and it is going to display the uh, display the output as what a character by using the which functionality put care functionality here and uh, here if i am uh, executing this program what is the what is the thing it is going to be here here i am executing this program and uh, here what is the thing it is going to be displayed here here i am entering something as at the rate symbol character as at the rate and uh, here what is the output it is displaying character entered and uh, at the rate has been displayed by using the what put care put care uh, put care of c means what is the thing it is displaying put care of c means what is the thing it is displaying here means put care of c means what is the thing it is displaying the statement is displaying this one and uh, okay and uh, this one is this one has been taken as the what uh, input by using this function this one has been taken as the input by using this uh, get care and uh, this at the rate symbol has been displayed by using the what uh, put care and uh, this is all about the usage of what uh, using the what uh, put care and uh, get care functionalities here put care and uh, in, uh, what is the other input and output statements input and output statements for uh, taking the input as character and uh, displaying the output as character means the people are going to use something as what uh, instead of scanf the people are scanf and printf the instead of scanf and uh, printf functionalities the people are going to use functionality called what uh, put care and uh, get care functionalities and uh, what is the next concept we are going to be discussed here uh instead of put care and get care uh, we can use what uh, put c and get c functionalities also we can use something as what uh, put c and get c functionality and uh, here what is the it is also been working somewhat similar to the what uh, put care and get care and uh, here what is the to take the input of a string uh, character to take the input as a character means what is the thing we need to be mentioned here we need to pass the input parameter as what std in here we need to pass the input parameter as what std in and uh, here we need to pass it as what std in and uh, here while displaying the character we need to pass uh, for the put c functionality what is the uh, to what is the character we want to be displayed whatever the character has been stored inside the character character c that character we want to be displayed and that we want to be displayed it as what a standard output so we are passing it as what a std out we are passing it as what a std out here here to take the input of a character means i am using this function and to display the output uh, output of that character by using the put c means we are using this function we are using this function and uh, here what is the if you are executing this program then what is the output it is going to be displayed uh, if you are executing this program means what is the output it is going to be displayed and uh, uh, here 
it is going to ask the user to enter the water it is going to ask the user to enter character uh, it is going to ask what is the what is the thing it is going it is asking the user to enter character here i am entering the character as what a and uh, here i am entering the character as a that a is going to be stored where here means this a is going to be stored where here means that a is going to be stored uh, taken and taken as input by using the statement and uh, stored inside the what uh, and uh, stored inside the what uh, c and uh, stored inside the what uh, c and uh, here 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 i am pressing the something as what uh, enter button mm, okay uh here what is the thing i am doing here means here i am pressing the enter after pressing the enter what is the thing it is displaying it is displaying something as what it is displaying this a by using the which statement it is displaying here means by using the statement called this one by using the statement it is displaying something as what a and uh, put c and uh, c c means what is the inside the c what is the value has been stored what is the value has been stored inside the c here means uh, uh, a has been stored inside the c that's why it is displaying something as what a it is displaying something as what it is displaying the value as what it is displaying the value as what a and uh, here uh, while to display the output that's why we are passing the second parameter as what std out here we are taking the input that's why we are considering it as what uh, std in and uh, this is all about the what uh, all about the usage of uh, usage of what how we are going to use the get c and uh, put c functionalities to take the input as a character means we are going to use get c and uh, get c for get c what is the what is the what is the input parameter we are going to be indicated std in and for put c what is the output thing we are going to be indicated std out and uh, now we are going to see uh, what is the other thing we are going to be considered here what is the what are the other things we are going to be discussed uh, what are the three types of standard uh, streams we are having here means to take the input means input stream means std in output stream means std out as well as what uh, std error std error what is meant by the std error here uh, c does not provide direct support for what error handling known as what exceptional handling suppose uh, some runtime errors are going to be arise we are uh, expecting some runtime errors to be arise then how we are going to display by using the uh, uh, std error by using the by using the concept called what a standard error and uh, here what is the uh, what are the what are the now we are going to see uh, to display the error message means how we are going to be displayed and uh, before that all of you know about the printf statement what is the purpose of using the printf statement uh, to display the output means we are going to use something as what a printf and uh, here if i execute this program means what is the output it is going to be displayed if i execute this program means what is the output it is going to be displayed here is the line 1 here is the line 2 here is the line 3 here it is displaying the here is the line 1 here is the line 2 here is the line 3 all of you know about the printf statement printf statement is used for the what to display the output to display the output means we are going to use something as what printf statement and uh, here instead of printf i am using what is the f printf i am using the functionality called what f printf but a first parameter i am indicating it as what std out std out std out and uh, here what is the what is the thing it is going to be displayed here here i am using this statements as what here i am using the statements as printf and uh, instead of printf here i am using the statement as what what is the statement i am using here means Mm, here here i am using the statement as what f print f and uh, if i trying to execute uh, here here i am saving the program and uh, build and uh, run and uh, here it is going to display the output as what say and uh, here first three lines uh, first uh, first three lines 
these three lines has been displayed by using the uh, statement called what by using the method called what printf and uh, here next three lines has been displayed by using the next three lines has been displayed by using the statement called what f printf uh, instead of here only we are passing the output string only we are passing the output string here we are passing the output string and first parameter we are indicating it as what std out std out what is the what is the thing we are going to be passed std out and uh, all of you uh, why i am saying this thing here means we are to display the error message means what is the what is the method we are going to be used here means uh, f print a functionality we are going to be used and inside that to display the error means we are going to use one statement as what std error we are going to use one statement as what std error and uh, here now we are going to display uh, use uh, how how we are going to display something as what error messages how we are going to display uh, display error messages uh, uh, here something by zero means what is the in the last classes we have been discussing about the runtime errors and compile time errors runtime errors and compile time errors and uh, here i am asking the user to enter uh, dividend and the divisor value here i am asking the user to enter the which value dividend and divisor value suppose the user has entered something as what the user has entered the value as what dividend value as uh, 12 and uh, divisor value as what 6 and uh, if for this if i am dividing 12 divided by 6 means what is the value we are going to get 12 divided by 6 means what is the value we are going to get we are going to get something value as what uh, remainder value if 12 uh, divided by 6 means remainder value what is the value we are going to get zero and uh, uh, here we are not going to face any problem suppose uh, instead of 6 here i have the user has passed something as zero 12 divided by 0 then what is the what is the what is the remainder value we are going to get here means we are going to get the remainder value as what infinity and uh, the programs are not going to display something as infinity and it is going to throw some uh, it is going to what is the what is the thing it is going to be displayed here means uh, what is the thing it is going to be displayed here means some error message it is going to be displayed it is going to display something as what a error message uh, it is going to display it as what a empty and uh, to handle this type of exception to handle this type of exception then uh, here what is the if divisor is equal to 0 what is the statement we are writing what is the statement we are writing here means if uh, if divisor value is equal to 0 here we are keeping some condition and uh, displaying the error message as what uh, by using the functionality called uh, by using the which functionality we are displaying f printf and inside that what is the what is the uh, first parameter we have been passed here means std error std error and we are displaying the error message as what uh, division by 0 about it and uh, it is showing some problem by because of what uh, division by 0 it is showing some problem because of what uh, division by 0 that message we are making uh, displaying to the what uh, user that uh, message we are displaying to the user and uh, inside the program inside the program what is the uh, inside the program in, uh, inside the program what is the thing we are going to be uh, inside the program what is the what is the thing here it is uh, we are executing one method called uh, exit of exit underscore failure we are execute, uh, executing one standard method and uh, what is the standard method we are using displaying here means exit underscore failure suppose if the divisor value is not equal to 0 means we are dividing and displaying the what coefficient and we are displaying it as what exit of what exit underscore success and uh, to display the error message means we need to remember this statement and uh, f printf and for that what is the first parameter we are going to be passed here means std error and uh, this uh, this message we are going to be called it as what error message 
and uh, if i am trying to execute this program compile and executing this program all of you listen carefully here and uh, here i am giving the value as 12 and uh, division value divisor value i am giving it as what uh, some 2 uh, then it is displaying the coefficient is equal to what 6 uh, here they, we have not faced any problem uh, so it is uh, displaying the coefficient value as what 6 uh, suppose if i am executing one more time build and run and uh, here here i am giving the value as 12 and uh, here i am giving the uh, value as what 0 12 divided by 0 what is the remainder uh, reman uh, uh, what is the coefficient value infinity so what is the what is the thing what is the error message it is displaying what is the error message it is displaying here means it is displaying the error message as what error message as what uh, this here it is displaying some error message and uh, division by division by zero and uh, this type of thing we are going to be called it as what uh, standard error we are going to be called it as standard error the error messages are going to be displayed by using the which statement means by using the functionality called what by using a functionality called f printf functionality by using a functionality called f printf functionality here and uh, this is all about what input and output statement what are the statements we need to be remember under the input and output means uh, printf statement scanf statement put c get c and uh, put test get test and uh, f get s and uh, put care get care and uh, uh, what is the uh, functionality f printf and uh, what are the three types of strings we are going to have here means std in std out std error std error to display the error message means what is the method we are going to use f printf and for that what is the parameter first parameter we are going to be passed here means std error and second parameter we are going to be passed it as what error message second parameter we are going to be passed it as what error message and uh, this is all about the what input and output statement